Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm a self-employed mama of four. My husband and I are on a journey to become debt-free using a zero-based budget and the cash stuffing method because our biggest goal is to invest wisely and give generously. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. All right, you guys, today I have a very wild video for you. It is wild because I have two kids awake and I'm home alone with them right now, but I'm not gonna have any other time to film my cash stuffing. And so this is going to be a very real day in the life style <laughs> cash stuffing. There's going to be noises. There's probably going to be interruptions. And this is really gonna test my editing skills, but I am down for it. So first thing before I get started with this week's cash stuffing, I did get some happy mail and it is a company that you are very familiar with because I have partnered with them in the past and I've made the decision to partner with them again. So they reached out, Julia Jewelry reached out and asked if I'd like to choose another piece of jewelry. And I thought about it for a little while. And what I decided is that a woman can never have too much jewelry. And I also had to laugh because God has such a sense of humor. Like literally my wedding ring gets flushed down the toilet in November. And I never would have guessed that seven months later I would have been blessed and gifted with three beautiful rings. So I'm gonna get started just by opening this up and this ring is really special to me and I will explain why, but I'm gonna just open this up quick and kind of show you what comes in here. So they always send a, a booklet that has just some of their jewelry and they have a lot of different jewelry. And what I love about it is that you can customize it. So the piece that I got is customized and I knew right away exactly what I was going to be putting onto this piece of jewelry. They do also send this beautiful gift bag if you are giving the jewelry as a gift, which I think is just so smart. I love that. Okay, and I will have a promo code. I will link that down in the description as well as the link for this exact piece of jewelry that I got, but Julia Jewelry is 908 silver. They also use moissanite stones and I love moissanite. It also comes with care instructions anytime that you get a piece of their jewelry. And I just absolutely love their jewelry so i'm just going to show you guys what i picked out it is another ring and it is gorgeous it is absolutely gorgeous my nails are horrendous and so i maybe should have waited to do this video when my nails were not horrendous but hopefully i am doing this ring justice here in the camera i believe it is focusing it's so pretty okay so what i got customized with this is an engraving and i'm gonna attempt to show you i'm not sure if you'll be able to see it but i got the numbers 929 on the inside of the band and september 29th is my dad's birthday fall has always been my favorite time of year for any of you who don't know my dad passed away in 2020 from cancer actually in september his birthday was just always a time that i have so many good memories and so i love 929 and i actually have 929 on my tattoo as well so i thought that would be really cool to add to the band of this ring let's give it a try oh it fits perfectly and just look at how i love how bright their rings are so this is also a ring that I got from Julia Jewelry. It is the ring that I'm using as a wedding ring while we save up for me to buy a new one to replace the one that was flushed down the toilet. But this one's also from Julia Jewelry. So I'll link this one in the description as well. Um, they're both moissanite stones, but I love how bright they are. And it's just so vibrant and eye catching and I am obsessed with this band. How pretty is that? So thank you, thank you, thank you, Julia Jewelry for reaching out and just ask me to partner with you again. I absolutely love working with this company. They are amazing. I love their values. I love how they care about the environment, just everything. So thank you to Julia Jewelry. And like I said, I will put any promo codes in the description as well as links for everything. So you can go check them out if you're in the market for a new piece of jewelry or looking for a gift idea for somebody. So let's go ahead and get started with today's cash stuffing. So I'm going to be cash stuffing a total of $1,395 for the third week of July. And I have my cash planning pages here. So I've already pre-planned all of the denominations, put them onto my teller slip, and then have gone to the bank to get cash. First things first, let's just get started with my wallet. And I forgot to grab my coin jar. And so I'm just gonna actually set this these coins aside for now and I will put them in there in a little bit. 
because I am running on borrowed time right now and we keep our coin container in our bedroom. We have to keep it up high because Eli likes to put coins in his mouth. So we have to keep it in a place that's out of reach for him. I have a lot of receipts this week, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these out and scan these into my Fetch Rewards app. And for any of you who don't know what Fetch Rewards is, it is an app where you scan in your receipts, those receipts turn into points, and then you can redeem those points for gift cards. So I have a referral code that I will also link in the description as well as right here on the screen so it's easy to find but you get bonus points and I get bonus points when you use my referral code so if that's something that you're interested in definitely go check it out so let's start with unstuffing and I think I decided I was going to oh, I've got a kid crying already um I think I decided I was going to roll over my grocery money in my wallet as well as my spending money so I have 20 25 30 1 and 2 I started with 40 so I spent eight dollars isn't too bad nothing left in eating out this one has been bothering me all week so I'm just gonna put that <laughs> I'm gonna stuff that into my savings challenge this week as well and then we have 10 left in kids that will get rolled over nails is empty and then kindness and miscellaneous are also both empty so we'll go ahead and get restuffing these and I actually I'm gonna do this backwards just so it's easier so for miscellaneous, I did, oh, I did a $10 bill. I was not thinking again. Do I have any fives that I can, oh, I do. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we'll actually end up stuffing a 10 in our savings challenges and then this way I can put a five in miscellaneous and a five in kindness. So it will work out perfectly. So Eli and, I, Eli and I went to the aquarium this morning and it was so fun. He absolutely loved it. I'm not going to stuff nails or kids because that already has its 10. Drinks, I am going to do. I'm not going to stuff drinks. I don't think I need anything this week, to be honest. Eating out, I did a $50 bill. I, like I said, I was not thinking when I did this. So... I'm gonna see what I have in our little priority for eating out. Oh, good. So I have a $10 bill, so I'm just gonna do that and then we will stuff the rest in there when we get to it. So $10 in eating out. This is just if I feel like grabbing a burger or a sub or something real quick. Treat yourself. I'm gonna grab that out of my spending money envelope. So my husband and I each stuff $200 a month at the beginning of the month and just pull from it as needed. So I'm gonna do a 50 this week. And I really have not been spending a ton of my own spending money. So that's been kind of nice. I have the incentive that the money I don't spend gets put into my savings challenge. So that helps me not to spend. Groceries is gonna get 25 as usual. This is just for miscellaneous odds and ends. And I had someone ask why I have a grocery envelope in my wallet and a miscellaneous envelope. This is specifically for groceries. I don't spend this on anything else and the miscellaneous envelope is for like other things. So now, I don't know why I zipped this. Now I have all of my envelopes ready to go and I am gonna be announcing the giveaway winner at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. Well, it's probably not gonna be like at the very end. I don't know. I don't know where I will insert it. I have not done the drawing yet, so I'm gonna insert the clip. So I'm gonna set that aside for the, the savings challenge binder right here. And then we're gonna jump into high priority sinking funds. Groceries, I already stuffed in my wallet. Clothing is going to be getting a 50 as usual. So now we have 100, 150, 160, 170, one, two, three, and four. $174 in clothing. Household is going to be getting $30. I might have to go grab that baby. I thought she might go back down for a nap, but she sounds like she's up for good. So 50, 1, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 1. So $171 in household. I filmed my cash unstuffing video and talked about getting a $160 vacuum. I decided not to. I just cleaned up our vacuum and it's it's gonna be fine for a bit longer. So maybe Black Friday we'll get a new vacu vacuum. Personal hygiene 
is gonna be getting 30. And after I give this account, I'm gonna go get her up and hopefully be able to continue. Um, so personal hygiene, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 200, 210, 220, 225. $225 in personal hygiene. And I will be filming a cash condensing video as well. One more. Okay, baby needs. It, actually, I don't think baby needs is getting stuffed. No. I'm going to finish this binder and then I'm going to go get Bristol. She woke up really early from her nap, which is weird. Copays is getting skipped. Medical is getting 20. I can't believe Eli hasn't come up here after hearing me talking. So medical has 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 85, 90, 1, 2, and 3. $193 in medical. Vehicle maintenance is getting 50. So now it has 50, 70, 1, and 2. Pet care is getting $30. So now pet care has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 40, 1, and 2. $142 in pet care. Sam's Club is getting skipped and then miscellaneous I've already stuffed in my wallet. So that is it for high priority. I'm going to go get Bristol, make sure she's good, get her settled in. And then when I come back, we will do low priority sinking funds. Okay. Baby is currently sitting at the table having a snack. So we'll see how long this lasts. All right. So low priority sinking funds for eating out. It is getting a 50 this week. Actually, all these 50s are pretty nice. We'll do this one though. Why do I have a rogue one in there? All right. I'm just going to put this in here for our $1 savings challenge. I have no idea where that came from. Drinks is going to be getting a 50 as well. So now it has 61. My spending and Chris's spending was already stopped at the beginning of this month. Home renovations is getting a 100. So now we have 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So $385 in home renovations. Kids is getting $20. So now it has 20, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 53. Family fun is getting $20. So now it has 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. Was that 44? <laughs> I count and then sometimes don't pay attention to like the actual number that I just counted or like what I'm even saying. Antonio is getting 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Antonio is our little through big brothers, big sisters, except he is not that little anymore. We were matched with him when he was in kindergarten and he just texted me the other day saying he's taking driver's ed because I'm trying to plan a time for him to come hang out and he's doing driver's ed right now. So I just, I can't even, I can't handle it. So hockey is getting 40 and this is just preparing for next season, any equipment that'll be needed, anything like that. So 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 320, 320. And I don't know if Rowan starts this fall or not. I keep forgetting to ask my husband, but I'm just going to keep stuffing that thing like crazy. Hockey rink is getting $25. So we build a ice arena hockey rink in the backyard in the winter this will be our second year doing it so we don't need all of the pieces just a tarp and some lights but our goal is to save up 500 by october so 51 20 40 60 80 85 90 95 200 so almost halfway there we just started stuffing this i think a month or two ago nails is getting 20. So now it has 40. I really need to 
go get them done. Don't love this color. It like shows all the dirt and then they're also like chipping. So I think I might just need a fresh set instead of a fill this time. Gifts is getting $20. So now it has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 105. Are you eating that popsicle over there? <laughs> Give a girl food and she's happy, right? Date night is getting 25. So now date night has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35. organizing is not getting stuffed I think I I skipped I skipped some categories this week so that I could stuff more in other places memberships is getting 10 so now memberships has 100 200 10 20 30 40 50 60 65 so 265 dollars both our Sam's Club and Amazon Prime memberships, uh, we pay those in September. So we're like good to go. I'm just going to keep stuffing it anyway. Tax prep is getting $15 this is to pay our CPA. So now we have a 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, 95. So trying to get ahead for that because that's a big expense that I always forget about. Wedding ring is getting $10. So now we have 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 320, 330, 340, 350, 10th anniversary is getting a 50 as usual. So now we have 51, 52, travel is also getting 50. We have, we are driving down to Dallas at the end of this month. So I'm trying to kind of bulk this up. This is just for like random, like pit stop things or whatever, 51, 50, 50, Oh, oh my God. So 50, 100, 150, 155, 160, 1, 2, and 3, 163. Gas will, we budget for separately and I leave that in our account because we typically pay at the pump because we've, you know, got at least one or two kids with us and it's just easier than bringing them in. So next is holiday sinking funds. And Valentine's Day is getting a five. So now it has 50, 55, 65, $70 in Valentine's Day. Easter is getting a five. So now it has 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. I need to make sure I take out enough 50s this time for my cash condensing because there are quite a few that 4th of July is not getting stuffed. Quite a few that I'm gonna need 50s for. Okay, so Halloween is getting $20. So now we have 51, 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 170. And I think I said $200 might be enough um, last time, but I think I might shoot for 300 just, just to make sure. I just don't know how much I'm gonna need. So I'd rather over save than not. Thanksgiving is not getting stuffed. Black Friday though is getting its usual $10. So now we have 100, 200, 250, 260, 270, 280, and $290 in Black Friday. I'm hoping that all of the background noise happening isn't picking up too much on the camera, but it's also like a little, you know, like I said earlier, day in the life. Like I don't get to, Norm, I mean, I guess normally I do cash stuff in silence, but just my husband is so busy with this particular job that he's working on right now for his construction company. And I'm just like, you know what? I Staying consistent for you guys is more important to me than having like the most perfect video. So you guys just, it's like, you're just hanging out with me while I cash stuff anyway. And this is what it sounds like. So 
All right, 100, 152, 253, 354. So $1,400 saved up for Christmas. This is a placeholder that I used to signify our $1,000 we have in the bank saved up for Christmas. New Year's Eve is not getting stuffed. Birthday parties is getting 25. This is to save up for the kids' birthday parties. Decorations, but also food and whatever else. So birthday parties now has 100, 150, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 320, 25, 30, 35, 40, $340. And Liam's birthday is in March and he'll be in third grade this year. And I'm guessing he's going to want to do a friend's birthday party. And that's like, you can expect anywhere that you go to be around $300 anyway. So saving up for that too. Back to school is getting a 50. So now it has 100, 200, 253, 354, 455, 556, 650, 660, 665 saved up for back to school. And I'm like, oh, I should slow down with that. Well, that's next month that I will be using a lot of that money. So I think we're good. The only seasonal ones I am stuffing is summer and fall. So summer is getting $30. I can't believe how good Bristol's being. I'm so proud of her. 20, 40, 50, 60 in summer. Fall is getting $10. So now it has 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. All right, and then seasonal decor is getting 30. All right, so now we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, $60 saved up in seasonal decor. And that is it for my holiday sinking funds. I just wanted to change up my scenery a little bit, so I'm just keeping these off camera, which is what I normally do with this binder, but I thought it would be fun to do something a little bit different this time. Okay, so for my savings challenges, let's see. So total that I will be stuffing today is 20, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's do this in my $1 savings challenge. And this is the binder from the Lux Haven collection. They will be back in stock any day. And um, like anyone that's gotten pre-orders, those will get, or like ordered them as like pre-order, those will get sent out first. But apparently, so they're actually sending me a couple of free ones because of how long it's taken. Because they gave me a date and it didn't happen. So for my $5 savings challenge, oh, I'm not adding anything. I'm like losing it, you guys. But look, look how close I am to filling this up. So exciting. $10 though, we are doing the $10. Usually I wanted to use my marker from Erica, making it bling. And it's downstairs in my office because I was using it yesterday. All right, so we're adding 110. And if you want to know how much I have saved up in these, just go check out my Instagram because I do post videos on there with a savings challenge update. I still need to download TikTok. I'm so bad. I have so many people that are like, oh my God, I found you on TikTok. And I deleted the app, I don't know, two or three weeks ago to make room on my phone. Oh my God, I didn't even put the 10 in here. What's up, girl? What? Hey, eat your popsicle. It's going to melt if you just leave it sit there. Oh, do you, need, do you need help reaching it? Here, let me help you. I'll get it. Hang on. Okay. Wow. Anyway, so then I'm adding two 20s to my $20 savings challenge. And... Like I was saying, I just need to re-download TikTok because I don't know, it's just so much, there's so many social media apps. And to be honest, I don't really want to be on all of them. <laughs> it's just a lot to keep track of. All right, so that is it for my rollover savings challenge, plus the $80, you know, for the purse that I sold. Can't technically call it an all rollover, but all right, so I am stuffing four envelopes. 
for my 100 envelope challenge. And I just round it up for all of them, make it super simple. And so for 99, I am doing $100. And then I'm also doing number 94. Can you hear Bristol? She's, she has cinnamon toast crunch in a bowl and a popsicle. Like I gave her choices and she's like dumping out her cereal on the table and then putting it back in. <laughs> so funny. Hey, are you making messes? All right, and then this is number 97. And then 98 is the last one. So I've been stuffing more like $400 a week into the savings challenge because I really want to get it filled up before payments resume. I really didn't do the math to see if I even would, but either way, once payments resume, wherever we are at with the 100 envelope challenge, I will still unstuff and make a big payment. So this is getting tight. I might have to start putting them in here. So this is what I have left. These are the envelopes that I have left to stuff. And this is from Lux Designs. So if you also would like to do a hundred envelope challenge, I highly recommend hers. It's amazing quality. This cash tray is also from Funds and Fun and she is on Etsy. So I will have both of those things linked in the description as well as all of the information for Julia Jewelry because I absolutely love them. And so right now I'm gonna go ahead and announce the winner of the cash tray. So it is like a light, soft pink beige colored cash tray that I showed in last two weeks ago, my cash stuffing video two weeks ago. So go check that out if you need to know what it looks like. But if you entered into my giveaway, you know what it looks like because you watched the video and you entered into my giveaway. But that's what I'm giving away. So I'm gonna cut right here and do that drawing so you guys can see who the winner is. Yay! Well, congratulations to our winner. I'm so excited to send out this cash tray to you again. This is from Funds and Fun, and she is on Etsy. So go check her out. I will have her linked in the description. But again, congratulations for being our winner, and thank you to everyone who entered into the giveaway. I can't wait to do another giveaway soon. As always, thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out with me while I do my weekly cash stuffing. Cannot wait to see you in my next video.